temperature. Thank God for that. Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. I've had to walk down today because, I don't know if you recall yesterday's vlog, I did have a cheeky sherbet with Craig, which meant I had to leave the vehicle here. And, uh, well, I stopped a lot later than perhaps I should have done. Anyway, we're in now, so the main port of call is, of course, get mashed in. And whilst that is happening, then I'm gonna start polishing up the steel on the pilot kit and uh, get it looking something like a couple of welds to clean up all these things can be done during like the mash break or whilst we're waiting for the boil kettle to come up to temperature so i'm going to put the camera down and i'm going to get stuck in wow the brew day's in full swing folks and i've been a busy boy so while i've uh, mashed in Barged, run off and just about to dig the mash tun out I've taken a little bit of time to reconfigure this back area so the pilot kit has got somewhere to reside on a more permanent basis and I've pulled the IBC which is our cold liquor tank this way a touch so now it's directly beside the fermenters meaning it's much easier for me to rinse after I've done a caustic wash in between the acid, you see. So it's much more convenient now. I don't have to stretch pipes across the way and, uh, you know, jump over obstacles. But I'm really impressed with how that looks there. I might have to get rid of this shabby old uh, jacket off the wall, though it kind of ruins the look a little bit, doesn't it? We'll stick this over here on the back of that door. So what I've done is move the cooling unit this side of the big wall with the Harrison's Brewery logo on. That then means that we uh, aren't kicking the heat so much into the brewing space. There's a little bit of separation, if you can kind of see that. And uh, also, whenever I need to blow the fins out with dust, as you can see I'm due, then uh, that dust isn't going to go into the brewery either. So all I've done is fit some pipes this side. There we go. Little bubble got trapped. But yes, anyway, as I was saying, I've installed the pipe work on this side. And now all it's doing is pumping round this corner through the wall and across this back section here and then down in and joining the rest of the installation where it was originally going to go so that's a dramatic dramatic improvement well, it's been a long day folks it's been a long day I've been a busy man I've not had a chance to pick the camera up too much today and as you can see we're just about to come to the end of the transfer but hey I don't know if you can see down there actually but yeah we're just about to come to the end of the transfer there I've put a little bit more pickling paste on the uh, on the brew stand just to clean up some of these welds and then I'm going to start to hit it with some WD-40 and 240 grit and we're just going to go backwards and forwards like that to achieve that finish instead of, see if I can show you so we get that kind of finish it's a brushed finish on the top whereas at the moment that is kind of how it's looking and that's what we want to achieve so it's easily done with a bit of 240 grit and some oil. But I'm just going to have to get this brew tank emptied out, ready for tomorrow's batch. We've already got the grain in the mash liquor tank. Mash liquor tank? <laughs> in the mash tun. And uh, that's proof of concept going in there tomorrow. A uh, bit of yeast to chuck into FE1 when this is finished, take some readings 
and then I can start to just polish, polish the stand up a little bit. So I've had to temporarily move the carbonation area for the kegs. You see the CO2 cylinder and a big manifold of pipe work and connectors to charge or carbonate the keg beers and I've decided to put that in this corner because of course as you can see around here we have moved things around a little bit I know I've already mentioned it today so we seem to have gained quite a bit of space I think that that looks a lot better in how uh, the IBC is set up next to the three fermenters there and then we've just got a shelf for ancillaries, pipe fittings, that kind of stuff and then of course the pilot kit brew stand which is just sitting there drying so what I've done is I've hit the whole thing as I said with oil and sandpaper and then I've uh, cleaned it all off with some fairy liquid if you like just to try and obviously cut the grease, cut the oil off of it WD-40 so it came off pretty nicely but as you can see we've pretty much got a good brush finish and a uniform a uniform finish on the stainless a couple of things that I am going to do which uh, have kind of caught my attention I need to slightly embiggen the hole there for this. Let's see him swing down. There we go. That hole there is fine, but the uh, other one just needs adjusting slightly. That one there, it's not quite the right size. And then I do think that I should put just some type of retainer on here so we'll extend this piece of steel just another two inches likewise here and on the end and then what I can do is just put a bolt through the center to prevent these coming out so because we've got now the bolt down there can you see in there that creates another pivot point effectively and if you if you look at that you can kind of see it does kind of want to lift out not quite but kind of so I'm worried that if there's any weight in here it will come out but I guess if it did I would be emptying the tanks anyway so it's no big deal worst case Ontario is that we're going to be emptying the mash tun and we'll spill a load of grain on the floor and maybe even dint one of the tanks which would be an appalling error on my part so just shooting the breeze a little bit there folks explaining what's going on I'm back in in the morning for another brew day uh, it's late I got in late because I was obviously on the pop and uh, I'm exhausted so I'm a little bit behind on the vlog edits there are actually two on the SD card so I'm going to go home and try and get both of these banged out to m tonight for release. I'll release them immediately on the Patreon page and then they'll roll out over the next couple of days on YouTube for everybody else who's, uh, who's not a patron. Just kill this light. So yeah, that's the plan anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, well, tune in tomorrow for another episode of the vlog we will be doing another brew day I'll see if I can capture more of the brew day tomorrow than I have done today actually um, but we aren't going to be doing any more work on the brew stand until I've got these three batches of beer out of the way I want to make sure that uh, they get my full attention I already distracted myself with this massive move over here today I don't want to be distracting myself with more jobs tomorrow so I'll pick the camera up instead he says We'll see you for two. See you tomorrow. Cheers.